Sometimes you can be as organised as you want, you can plan ahead, but things just don't go your way. And I really can sum up this morning with a few short clips. <laughs> Not really been my morning so far, and, and I went the wrong way. My feet are soaking, I fell down in a stream of some nice Scottish oat cakes. So that sums up my morning pretty well. I did end up getting a shot in the end though. As you can see, I've got the camera focused on the Glenfinnan viaduct looking down the lock. And it was a nice scene. It didn't really have much light, so I ended up shooting it in black and white. But what we did have was a little bit of light catching the top of the left-hand peak and then some mist down on the lock. So it did look quite atmospheric in the end. Anyway, here are the shot settings. So it was ISO 100, F11, 1 15th of a second. And as you can see, managed to get it all in one shot. So it's quite a simple edit in the end, but here it is. Morning friends! Hiya! Have they seem nice? Oh, <laughs> still going. Morning. So I am walking back down from Glenfin and well, a viewpoint of Glenfin and Viaduct and I was very smart this morning, I set my alarm, plenty of time to drive over here, and then went back to sleep when it uh, woke me up. So I got here a little bit later than I planned. Yeah, it's not been a great morning for it and uh, I was in a grump when I was filming up there, so not the best content, but I'll show you. So whilst I natter on about Glenfinnan, I may as well tell you what I did with the rest of my day. Ended up going exploring and discovered an awesome location for the evening shoot. To yet another moody Scottish evening. Uh, I'm at this really cool location. You can see this uh, shipwrecked. Here we go. Let's let's get some focus on there. This nice shipwreck behind me. So um, it's just something, just a bit of fun. As you can see, the light's really flat. So I thought I'd come somewhere, try a little bit, maybe some black and white photography, try and get those moody pictures because I really don't think we're going to get anything tonight other than that. There's no point going up high or trying to get some epic sunset light because do you know? It's not going to happen tonight, but it doesn't mean that we can't get out and shoot, so here we go. Probably a little bit of black and white photography, some cool use of polarizer hopefully, and we'll, we'll try and get something fun this evening from this pretty, pretty wicked location. Right then, what a place this. First shot, relatively easy, easy to shoot in practice, uh, a little bit more difficult, so simple idea. Just using the beach here as a leading line up to the shipwreck. So it's over there, but we're... Uh, Bit of an awkward position so let me just show you my tripod set up here so we're, we're a bit in the water and we've got live view on screen pointing towards me just to get the ship that's over there so i'm gonna back down and show you what we're doing so we're at one second and uh f11 iso 100 got the polarizer on just so you're going to be able to see nicely in that water and then i'm taking two exposures one focusing on the ship and then one just focusing on the immediate foreground as well to make sure that we've got all of that in focus come edit time. So we'll do first shot on the ship. This is the awkward bit, because I hate that touch shutter thing. Oh, I've got a wet foot. And then second shot, as close as we can get, doing the same idea. <laughs> the second shot then hopefully you can hear me over the water there's this cool body of water running in front of it so 
decided I'm going to use that as some good foreground interest. You can see Ben Nevis just behind the ship, um, shrouded in cloud. It was quite moody and quite cool. So all we've done here then is I've whacked the polarizer on again just to get rid of some of that. Ah, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting eaten alive by midges here. Just to get rid of some of that glare off the water. Um, and I've had to bump up the ISO a tiny bit on this one. So we're shooting ISO 500. That's just because I wanted to um, try and sort of increase the shutter speed to get a little bit more detail in that water. So it's trying to find a balance between shooting at a, an ISO that's sort of like more more usable and um, still going to be fine this full print camera shoot ISO 500 not a problem um, get about half a second so all I've done is I've uh, manually focused there on the ship shoot at f11 ISO 500 half a second uh, two second timer and we're at about 45 mil Right, just taking this last picture then, so the lights in Fort William have just come out quite nicely now. Um, I'm not going to film all of it because every single one of these is a 30 second exposure so it's going to take me forever to take, but you can see there's just a bit of bit of blue hour light coming in now and I've got to strike a balance between getting the blue hour but also having enough light to leave some detail on this ship. So I'm going for the first pass now and I'm going to stick around see if it gets any bluer and any better. But yep every one of these 30 second exposure so there you go one's just done and we'll take the next one so yeah we're just going to whiz through take the pano now but there's no point filming at all because we'll be here forever so i'll show you the completed image here Well, it's basically dark now, just gonna head back to the car, but um, yeah, did a pano sort of sweep. I think there was about eight or nine shots in each of them, and um, I shot them F11, ISO 100 obviously, because, well, we wanna get the best quality out of that, and each one of them was a 30 second exposure, so it took us about, about, sort of five minutes per photo, so that's why it's gotten really dark now, but anyway, gonna head back to the car, I'll show you the pictures now, and we'll see you in the morning.